Maulaan nyo kaya kung saan tayo pupunta ngayon, mga biyero? Ngayong gabi, bibistahin natin ang 12 largest countries sa Asia. Bukod sa sikat itong shopping district, puntahan din ang bansang ito ng mahihilig sa mga hang. Yung flavors niya talaga sarap eh. Yung never siyang magiging bland. Meron siyang tamis, meron siyang hanghang. Basta't ang dami nangyari. Ang hanghang din eh. Sabi nila hindi. Pili ko ako si Jimmy Santo. Kadidame namin sa inyo ang mga pagkain di dapat palampasin dito na may bonus pang history and culture. This is the classic. Ito yung bestseller. Ito yung pinipilahan ng mga tao. Ang tawag dito ay Patay Hokai. Plus, old favorites with a twist. Naswak pa rin sa panlasa nyo. Chef, there's a, there's a bug. Back on fry. This is deep fried. Mm -hmm. It's seasoned. It's, 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 it's good. Para sa ating kalawang travel goal ngayong 2018, Let's go to the land of smiles, Thailand. Up next, time travel tayo as we taste authentic Thai dishes. This recipe has been... Uh, Over a uh, hundred, hundred years. Oh. And more, 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 more Thai food. Tama kayo sa biyay ko? Tama kayo sa biyay ko? Isa ang Thai food sa mga internationally acclaimed cuisine. Bakit? Dahil siguradong may balance of every flavor ang bawat Thai dish, their five vital flavors are sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and of course, spicy. May ilang mga Thai dishes na mahigit isang daang taon na. Nang dahil sa mga Chinong lumipat sa Thailand noong araw, nagkaroon ng impluensyang Chino ang ilan sa mga putaing Thai. Tulad ng stir-fry o deep-fried dishes. At sa restaurant na to, matitikman natin ang isang Thai dish na matanda pa sa atin. This is we call uh, the crispy noodle. Crispy noodle? Yes. And this is very spe uh, special because this is the, the origin, you know, from this family mm. who we serve this to our working Rama the ship. Mm. So that's been passed down from many generations. Mm. And also for the Thai people, you know, before we start to have like a, the main dish, mm. this is, can be like a starter. Like an appetizer? Yes, exactly. Oh. You are right. Uh, okay. And usually it's served with shrimp, I guess, yes. of course. Yep. Parsley, yeah. and then you've got your chili, you've yeah. got your lots of garlic. And this recipe has been... Uh, Over a uh, hundred, hundred years. Oh. Yes, from the beginning. But later on, when we have more tourists come, you know, because of the set of Thai uh, food, very spicy. And this is, can be, you know, one that to introduce. So we have some not spicy. This is, you may enjoy, mm. you know. Okay, can I try? Sure, please. Ooh. Okay, it's very crispy. Yeah. Because it is crispy noodle. Mm. Yummy. That's not going to be too. Oh. It's yummy. Yep. It's sweet. Yeah. Because of mostly our Thai, you know, dish, more spicy. And this is can, you know, break. Mm. I see, I see. Okay, okay mga biyero. Ano siya? Um, think, uh, I guess, pansit bihon ha. Dini fry. Hindi naman dini fry na, no? but I'm sure nakatigin din kayo ng mga crispy noodles sa mga Chinese restaurants. Hmm? Water? No? <laughs> Um, sabi nila, pwede rin ito maging appetizer um, bago sa main dish na kakainin nila. But, pwede rin ito pang merienda eh. 
definitely. Sa isa pang restaurant, Thai heirloom dishes naman ang kanilang pinagmamalaki. Ang beer na dito tayo ngayon sa isang authentic Thai restaurant. I mean, what what makes it authentic? What makes the food authentic or Thai uh, authentic food? Uh, apparently, um, sabi ng princess na kailangan ma-maintain ang authenticity ng sinaunang uh, paraan ng pagluluto ng Thai food. Katulad na lang neto. What they mean is using the the uh, old ingredients. Katulad neto. This is a different type of flour. It's not it's not very common. It's uh, well back in the day it, it, it was I'm guessing, but this one is called kajon type of flour. Parang yata vine siya. But when you smell it, it smells like pandan. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be at ang isda na gamit-gamit nila ay mackerel. But get this, buti lang hindi masyadong maanghang. But, lurking inside <laughs> ay the hottest chili daw. Na, kapag kinain mo, mamatay ka. Sobrang syempre yun. I took it literal. Pero syempre, nag-over-exaggerate na namin aking tour guide. But, dyan lang siya. Dyan lang siya. Okay yung soup niya. Ngayon, ang konting asim. Boom. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Hindi siya maanghang. Okay, hindi siya maanghang. Okay, gusto ko naman maanghang eh. Hindi, hindi naman yung sobrang labas dila, labas utak. Kamot ulo. Kamot ulo hanggang matanggal lang buhok type of anghang. Ito, hindi masya. Hindi, wala talagang anghang. Two, it's very creamy. Why? Because they use coconut. Gata. Three, crab. Sorry. Parang yun yung signal ko na parang success. See, the beauty of, for me, personally speaking, the beauty of Thai food is just they complement each other. I'm the guy who loves to have different types of food on my plate. Yung kaya kong isang dito, ganyan-ganyan, naghalo-halo na sila, trip ko yung ganun. Kahit na hindi na ko complement yung pagkain, but this one, Para sa mga hindi gumagawa nun, I assure you, it's, it complements everything. So, sweet, salty, spicy, asim, the words. When in Thailand, you've got to try these. <laughs> I feel warm inside. <laughs> and this. Tama kay si Biay ko. Tama kay si Biay ko. First time sa Thailand Bieros. Ano nga ba dapat matikman dito? Yes, yes! Siyempre, kung saan sikat ang Thailand. Street food! Tiyak na hindi kayo maubusan na kakainin sa mga kali ng bangko. Isa sa mga hindi nyo dapat palampasin ay ang kanilang national food. Patay na patay ako dito eh. Yes? Pero wait, History 101 muna tayo. Bago naging isang sikat na street food at tanghaling national dish ng Thailand ang Pad Thai, isa ito sa mga pagkaing sinasabing nabuo sa tulong ng kulturang dala ng mga Chino sa Thailand. Ilan daang taon na ang nakakalipas. 
ang paggamit to ng rice noodles sa pad thai na nagmula sa China ang isa sa mga patunay nito. Mailan ding naniniwala na ang pad thai ay nagsimula pa noong World War II. Noong mga panahon yun daw, hinikayat ang mga mamamayang thai na gamitin ang mga lokal na produkto sa pagluluto at ipakilala pa sa nakakarami kung ano ang lasa ng lutong thai. Dahil dito, at gawa na rin ang pagiging malikay nila na kilala na ng buong mundo ang pad thai. Maswerte nga raw tayo dahil hanggang ngayon ay maari pa rin matikman ang authentic pad thai sa restaurant na to. Biyahero tip, siguraduhin yung kaya ninyong pumila ng matagal dito, okay guys? Maraming mga turista ang pumupunta dito, kaya be sure na hindi pa kayo gutom na gutom. Baka maging hangry kayo eh, pad thai tayer yan. <laughs> Last ko na yan, promise. I just had a small chat with uh, the owner and medyo mas lumawak pa yung aking uh, <clears throat> information, knowledge pagdating sa all-time favorite Thai food ko, which is Pad Thai. Yan yung dating inisip natin, Pad Thai. Apparently, it's pronounced as Pad Thai. Hmm. Hmm? Ganun yan. Anyway, okay. They have such a rich history. Um, that's pr probably one of the reasons why it's sobrang pinipilahan to. Apparently, sorry, apparently, sila yung gumawa, or hindi sila, the mom is named Samay. Okay, the restaurant is called Tip Samay. Tip means super. So, it's super mom. Okay, super and the name of the mom, which is Samay. Apparently, it's super, super because the recipe that she made like 50 years ago, sobrang uh, naging breakthrough pagdating sa pagawa ng patay. What I'm saying is that, yung recipe na nagdagdag sila ng shrimp oil, na sila yung unang gumawa ng pad thai wrapped in omelette, katulad nito. This is the classic. Ito yung bestseller. Ito yung pinipilahan ng mga tao. Ito e tawag dito ay patay hokai. Okay? Hokai means, I think that's the, that's the egg. So, and dude, let's see what the fuzz is all about. Ito na to. Yung suspense is killing me too. All right. Started off with the shrimp. Buhay pa. Hindi ko malasahan lang. Wait lang. Okay, to tell you honestly, yung alam kong patay na kinakain natin sa Pilipinas, paano ko ba explain yun? I guess stronger in taste. Ganun na lang. Stronger in taste. Ito, sakto lang. Sakto lang. I mean, it's probably, it's good though. Don't get me wrong. It's good is a patay place. You have different types of patay. You have different types of noodles for your patay. Kapag hindi ka sobrang hot na hot dun sa kanilang own recipe, you have your different sauces right here on the side. Fish sauce, you've got, I think, your suka, tapos meron kang chili flakes, meron kang asukal, at meron kang peanut. Sabi ko na nga ba yun yung kulang eh. Peanut. Kaya pala. Naaalala ko yun eh. Peanut. Pati lagyan natin ng... Uh, gets, 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 gets. Timpla, timpla. Timpla, timpla. Baka hinahanap ko talaga yung peanut. Yun nga yung hinahanap. Yun nga yung ko. Kaya pala sabi ko, something missing. But I guess that's what... Siguro, to cater to different types of palate. Ikaw na bahala. Anyway, okay. Another big plus. Guess mo kung magkano each plate. It's 90 baht. Okay. 90 baht, that's like, what? 130 pesos. 130 pesos. One great thing about this also is that even though ang dami-dami po yung pila, yung turnover din mabilis. 
plus yung kanilang orange juice ay nasa bote nasa bote galing yan sa bote it takes that apparently it's it's uh, uh, real fruit juice I mean not fruit juice real fruit juice but it is tama, freshly squeezed I think drink within the day of purchase 2014 <laughs> loka na, loka na. Yeah, but I told my wife about it she's a sucker for orange juice me pop pa dun sa loob. babe you're gonna love this dami kong sat-sat kain na tayo Padai, check. What's next? Oh yeah! One of Thailand's must-try dishes. Hindi kompleto ang trip nyo sa Thailand kung hindi nyo sila susubukan, guys. Hep, hep, bago natin tikman yan, alam nyo ba kung paano nagsimula ang pagkain ng insekto sa Thailand? Sinasabing ang pagkain ng insekto ay nagmula pa sa hilagang kalurang bahagi ng Thailand. Ito raw ang sinasabing pinakamahirit na lugar noon, kaya kinailangan mag-isip ng mga taga rito ng mga paraan upang mga kain. Para sa kanila, madali lang ang manghuli ng mga insekto, lalo pat naniniwala sila na magandang pagmulan ng protina ang mga ito. May ilan sa kanila nang uhuli at nagbebenta ng mga insekto sa mga nagluluto ng kakaibang meriendang ito. Nang magtagal, may ilang negosyanteng nakaisip na bumili ng mga insekto at dalhin ito sa Bangkok. Kita nyo naman, talagang nag-click ito, lalo na sa mga turistang naghahanap ng exotic food. Fast forward to 2017, haba, pati ang kilalang insect dishes ng Thailand ay nag-evolve na rin. Nagsiserve ang restaurant ito ng mga putahing hinaluan ng insekto. Ang konsepto kasi ng restaurant ito, post-apocalyptic. Imagine, you're in the future, pero wala ka nang makain karne ng baboy o manok. Kakayanin mo bang kumain ng insekto? Chef? Chef, there's a there's a bug. Yes. <laughs> I, this is a dragonfly. Dra dragonfly. Okay. dragonfly. It's part of the dish. Yes, because it keeps the crispiness and the texture like a bacon. All right then. Doesn't look very scary. Uh, so I guess this is the the concept of uh, the, yeah, this the, restaurant. Yeah. So uh, we're we're insects in the backyard now. So um, yeah, the the name tells everything. Right. So um, we're trying to, um, you know, um, think about the future and um, from the research, yeah. So um, in the in the future, the source of protein will, will no longer be from the meat or, and, you know, chicken, beef. Or beef, anything we eat today. Pig. Yeah. So they're 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 believed to be extinct in the future, mm -hmm. and you know, this is going to help us. You know, we'll live because of these things in the and, future. And and I hear that insects have. High protein content. Oh yeah, super. Right? Yeah. Sige na nga, tikman na nga natin yan. First insect dish, fresh salad with grasshopper. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, everything all together, man. Everything all together. Okay, no cheating. Okay, watermelon. All right. There you go. Let's do this. Mm. You should have this together. So, anong tikim nun? <coughs> Well, dahil naghalo-halo na yung uh, iglasa. Tamis ng watermelon, yung texture ng lettuce na medyo crunchy, tapos nun yung may salad na medyo konting alat at tamis. At syempre, hindi natin makakalimutan yung grasshopper named Kevin. <laughs> na makahagat mo, mararamdaman mo na may something crunchy. Like what I said nga, kapag nakapikit ka, hindi mo alam na dyan si Kevin, hindi mo al malalaman na nakakain ka na ng grasshopper. Let's move on, sir. Let's move on. Thank you, Chef. Alright. Sunod naman ay scallops with bamboo caterpillar. Sabi ni Chef, tikman ko raw muna yung caterpillar lang. Yes! Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so that wasn't even deep fried? No. This is deep fried. Mm -hmm. It's seasoned. It's, it's, sauteed, it's, it's, it's good. Sauteed. Yeah, oh, it's good. sauteed. Sauteed. It's pretty good. <laughs> there we go. These chefs are so aggressive. I'm going to the major ingredients at lahat ng pampalasa nila. Which means, yung scallop, lasang lasa mo. Yung dressing, lasang lasa mo. Which is yung uh, parsley puree. Yung worm, hindi mo malalasa. 
o hindi mo malalasahan. Mm, mararamdaman mo lang because the texture is crunchy. There you go. It's not, it's not as bad as you think, really. And for dessert, silkworm tiramisu. I've never tried this before. It's my first time doing it. There you go. There you go. Dig in, buddy. <clears throat> All right, cheers, man. Cheers, brother. Oh, lasa niya is uh, kung anong paborito mong uh, tiramisu. So, you know, babalik ako dun sa sinasabi ko na parang it's not as bad as you think. It's actually very delicious. And, ang ganda lang ng concept nila nga na parang, hey, who knows? Near 20, I don't know, no. Near 2100, wala ng poultry. And then, um, ang makukuha natin protein ay galing sa mga insekto. So, hey, probably a good, good to start now. Ano, Bieros? Kaya niyo ba? Sus, kaya pa yan! Hindi pa tayo tapos maglibot para sa mga must-eat street food dito sa Thailand. And this time, sasamahan tayo maglibot ng isa nating kababayan. Kamusta? Mabuti, mabuti. Mabuti ka ngayon, eh. Alam mo, natutuwa kami kapag nakakita kami ng Pilipino sa ibang uh, bansa, eh. Um, okay. Ngayon lang ako nakapunta dito, eh. Usually, kapag pumupunta ka sa, sa palengke, ano ba yung hinahanap mo? Um, well, it's quite ironic, palengke. Pero, mahilig kasi ako sa karne, eh. Hindi ako kumakain ng gulay, so... Uh, okay, okay. Usually, ang target ko talaga, every time pumupunta ako sa palengke, mga frito, mga frito. inihaw. So, oh, sige, hanap tayo, pare. Alright. Nang gulay. <laughs> Dala ko lang. <laughs> Habang naghanap kami ng masarap na kakainin, nagpakwento muna ako kay Pule. Ilang years ka na ba dito? Uh, four years. Apat four na years taon na ako dito. Uh, tapos nun, I, I hear na yung trabaho mo dito, you're a stand-up comedian. Uh, sa gabi. Sa gabi. Yeah. Uh, uh, sideline, sideline. Regular na trabaho is teacher. Teacher. Sa international school. Ano yung tinuturo mo English? English. Bakit naisip mo lumipat mula sa Pilipinas pagpunta dito? Hindi ako makasave din eh. <laughs> if you're going for honesty, yeah. Oh, ganun, ganun talaga. Bakit pollution, hindi... traffic, okay. crime. Ah, Oy, ito na pala yung... Ito, ito. Ah, ito ba? Ito ba? Yeah. <laughs> ito yung version ng kusino sa atin. Mm -hmm. At saka very accessible. Uh, if you'd notice, kakaluto lang nito. Oo. Uh -oh. uh, ni Cap, uh, ni... Tawa lang, Cap. 100. Okay, but I have one. Okay, uutang muna ako sa'yo, Papi. Yeah. Tikman na natin itong local version nila ng Tusino. Mm. Pero less. Sakto lang. No? Yung marination niya, hindi naman sobrang powerful yung... Sakto lang. So ba't mo naman naisipan na mag-sideline as a stand-up comic? Pagpunta ko dito sa Thailand, I was so obsessed that uh, I need someone else aside from my friends na makarinig ng mga corny jokes ko. Kailangan mo na outlet. Para yes. Ganun. <laughs> Ang ilagi kong iniisip is if I can represent the Philippines and uh, make Philippines proud in the smallest way possible. Why not? Why not? You know? At saka humor eh. Hindi ito for everyone. Correct. Probably. Correct. Correct. Nabuti na lang. Gwapo ako. So, it's an investment. Already Tama. or... Yung nagpapasalamat nga kami na may panahon ka, nagbigay ka ng panahon sa amin kasi ang daming, ang daming mong fans na nakapila siya sa labas at uh, <laughs> no. uh, alam ko uh, thanks ha, salamat, salamat. Okay, uh, dali lang, baka pakita ang apa dito, i-cover natin mukha mo, Papi. Mahirap. Chef for day, pwede! We'll give you more of Thailand. You have pasam, it's okay. Oh, no, no, it's just that uh, when you're stressed out, yeah. this is a stress reliever. Sama kayo si Biyay ko? Sama kayo si Biyay ko? Kung napagod na kayo sa Food Venture Biheros, aba walang problema. Dahil bukod sa pagiging food destination, isa ng kilalang shopping destination ang Thailand. At ang pinakasikat pagdating dito, ay ang Chatuchak Weekend Market. Sa 15,000 stalls, malamang hindi lang mga tuhod at panyo ang mapapagod, guys. Pati na rin ang mga bulsa nyo. 
Bihero Tip. Siguraduhin muna ng alam nyo ang iba't ibang daan papuntang Chop to Chop Market para sulit ang oras nyo, Biheros. Una, maaari kayong sumakay ng SkyTrain o yung tinatawag nila sa Thailand, the BTS, at bumaba sa Mochit Station. Sundan lang daan na may maraming bilhin hanggang sa makita nyo ang entrance ng clothing station ng Chato Chak. O kaya, pwede kayong sumakay ng subway at bumaba sa Chato Chak Station. O kung born shopper kayo, tingnan lang kung saan galing ang mga biherong may dalang maraming shopping bags. Make sure rin na makakuha kayo ng mga libreng mapa sa kanilang mga information center para mas madali ang pag-aala nyo. Now, let the shopping begin. Sa dami ng shop dito, siguradong may maiuwi kayong pasalubong. Meron iba't ibang stilo ng damit, handcrafted items, at syempre ang paborito nating lahat, keychains at ref magnets. Ayos! Kung hindi kayo sanay sa mahabang lakaran at mas gusto nyo lang ng chill activity, subukan nyo ang pottery activity na to. Sa studio na to, maaari kayong matuto ng paggawa ng baso, mangkok, o pinggan na gawa sa clay. Simula sa pagpili ng gagamitin clay, hanggang sa pagkulman nito, ayon sa gusto nyong gawin, hanggang sa pagluluto o firing nito. From our last food venture, itotodo na natin to dahil ngayon ay magiging chef niyo lang naman ako. Ito ang Blue Elephant Restaurant, ang kilalang culinary school ng Thailand na nagtuturo ng mga authentic Thai dishes hindi lamang sa mga gustong maging chef, kundi pati na rin sa mga turistang mahili magluto. Makakasama ko sa pagluluto ang walang iba kundi ang founder ng Blue Elephant, si Master Chef, Chef Noor. Mga bihero, uh, medyo sorry to tayo dahil... Uh... We're in a cooking school, specifically the Blue Elephant Cooking School and Restaurant. And we're sorry because we're one-on-one with one of their main chefs, which is Chef Noror. Good morning. Good morning. Actually, I'm going to do a prawn, a river prawn salad with the avocado. Your country has avocado. Yes. And in Thailand, we also have the avocado from the north of Thailand. Maybe we start because the prawn is so big. We start to sear the prawn first. So, ano unang gagawin? Lutoy ng prawn sa butter at takpan ito para mas madaling maluto. Okay. Dahil mahilig talaga ang mga Thai sa iba't ibang lasa ng kanilang pagkain, iba't ibang klaseng herbs and spices din ang gagamitin namin ni Chef para sa dish na to. So, what you need, you need a lot of herbs. You need lemongrass. Lemongrass. Chili, garlic, and shallot. Shallots. Lime, palm sugar. Then we have tamarind, yeah, and mint mint leaf. And then we have South Korean the leaves. South Korean. So so Korean the leaves. Oh. It's not like normal Korean. Okay. Okay. We got to do this first. Dry chili. Dry chili. We got to make the sauce with this. Okay. So we need to do in the mortar. Are you cooling the water? Yes. You want to? Oh, I do it. Yeah. Try, try. I sometimes do this when I have problems. Oh, really? I put some shallot. Yeah. Fried shallot. You have got some? It's okay. Oh no, no, it's just that when you're stressed out. Yeah. This is a stress reliever. Habang busy ako magdidik, si Chef Noor na ang bahala sa prawns namin. You know what I what I love about Thai cuisine? There's so many flavors. Yeah, a lot of flavors. A lot of flavors. Okay. After this finish, now we go to add garlic. Garlic, the fresh garlic. Oh, okay. And chili. You like spicy? Oh yes. For almoranas. Oh no. Yeah, but but you cut chili. This we don't have to crush too much, otherwise ah, it's too spicy. Just a little bit. Yes. Okay. Then we add palm sugar. Palm sugar. Palm sugar. Yeah. Why palm sugar? Not just uh, any because, type uh, of sugar. This, this recipe is very authentic. We need palm sugar. Mm. And we add some fish sauce. Okay. 
Now you have to, don't, don't jump, you have to... Uh, mix it. Yes. Because it's going to splash. Yes. Hammer it through. Mm -hmm. Get sour test. And end with lime juice. Ooh, for your acid. When tourists come, they, yes. can, they can also study like a crash course. Yeah, they like can. They, per they, recipe or per day? But they can go. They, 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 we are flexible. Normally, we have four recipes to go for. Four recipes what, per day. Per day, ah. for morning. Okay. But if they want to learn private class to open their own restaurant, yeah. they can come for one week or two Ooh. weeks. Or we are flexible to what customer need. Uh -huh. This is coffee lime leaves. Ooh, there you go. This is very important for this mm. recipe. Tingnan nga natin tong ginagawa ko. Fine. Oh, yes. What what do you miss? Mm. One more salty. So, you've got sweetness. Mm. You've got the kick. The spicy flavor. Yes. You have a bit of sour taste. Yeah. Um that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, then we have ready. Shall I? So we will put the sauce here. Okay. Pagkatapos mailagay ang sauce sa malaking bowl, saka naman ilalagay ang lemongrass na pinigaan ng lime. Very easy to prepare. It just it just needs a lot of uh, herbs and spices. Yes. yes. Which is definitely key. Yeah, they get the Thai cuisine, a lot of herbs. Yes. Then we come back to the prawn. I think, it, let me see. Lumaki ng ulo ng shrimp na yan. And it's plating time. More sauce? Uh, more sauce. Because mostly Thai people eat a lot of herbs, because right. Thai people do believe Herb, like level grass, it detox your body. Ah, uh, good for the body. Yes. And then, what we do now, we put a bit of some of mint leaf. Mm -hmm. ah. This is very ancient cuisine, very own. Uh, so you must, you want to taste? Sure. So you have the fork and the spoon. Oh, we forgot oh, yes, this what? one. Oh, the avocado! Avocado, we can put uh, after oh, right. the after the we... Oh, right, right, right. That's more color. This cannot forget because this is a... Yeah, and it's also, it adds a bit of creaminess. Yes, because when the spiciness comes in and mm -hmm. you eat avocado, you will have a creamy of avocado right. inside your... Tingnan nga natin kung pasado itong luto ko! Alright, chef. Time to so, taste. So, time to taste for you. you okay. Try, please taste it. But it's, it looks too pretty. I, I don't wanna... You just have to taste. Okay, okay. Mm. Nice combination. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> spicy, <clears throat> spicy. Yeah. <clears throat> ah. Okay. Siyempre yung pagluto ni Chef ng prawn, malutong. Kapal niya itong prawn na ito eh. Malutong, tapos yun. Sarap na ano eh. Sarap talaga ng combination ng, ng flavors ng ginawa na namin na sauce. <laughs> Classic Thai uh, combination of flavors. Andiyan yung tamis, andiyan yung anghang sa dulo na naramdaman mo. Andiyan yung asim, andiyan yung alat. At dahil nga naglagay tayo ng avocados, may added creamy texture. I love it, Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thirty Thai food. Mmm, very good. That Thailand. Very good. Spicy this. Thank you. Very good. Sa isang bansang tulad ng Thailand, nakatutuong isipin na kahit sa makabagong panahon, napapanatili pa rin nila ang kanilang kultura at paniniwala. At naisasabay sa pag-unlad ang mga lumang kaugarian. Ito pa dahil ang dahilan kung bakit ilang beses man tayo mapunta sa Thailand ay hindi pa rin tayo nauubusan ng mga bagong matututunan at matitikman.
chop, 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 and you eat, and then... Uh, uh, Liit? Medyo maliit to. Sana mas malaki, malaki pa. This type of brewing method, the pour-over, looks very simple. But yeah, everything needs to be perfect.